After helping to drag England to the quarterfinals of Euro 2024 with his late, late goal in normal time against Slovakia, Jude Bellingham confessed in his post-match conference that playing for England is a great deal of pressure and players have to endure hearing people talk trash about them on a constant basis. This has inspired us to look at where else this much pressure is felt by players. These are five countries that are under a lot of pressure to succeed. As expected, we'll start with England. To be fair, the pressure England is under is pretty understandable. They have never won the Euro since the start of the competition and have not won a major trophy in nearly 60 years. Every year, the fans sing, it's coming home, but it never actually comes home. They came close at Euro 2020 when they played the final against Italy on home soil, but they ended up losing on penalties. Considering the amount of talent the country has constantly produced over the years, you can understand why the fans are running out of patience. On top of that, the three Lions don't exactly play beautiful football under Gareth Southgate, so it's not like the fans enjoy watching their country play. This is another reason why they're under pressure to succeed, because only silverware can help the fans ignore the type of football the national team plays. Another team under a lot of pressure to succeed is Belgium. Just like England, Belgium have produced a lot of talented players across different generations, but they've never managed to win a major trophy in their entire history. They have reached finals and semi-finals, but have never gotten to actually lift a trophy. And this is despite having the most stacked and perfectly balanced squad in international football for years. And from the way De Bruyne reacted to a question from a journalist about Belgium's golden generation after they got booted out from Euro 2024 by France in the round of 16, you can tell that even the players are feeling the pressure. And speaking of golden generations, Portugal is another team with a golden generation that must be feeding the heat. Yes, they finally won a major trophy for the first time in their history in 2016, but since then, they've been underwhelming and the fans don't seem very happy about it. Funnily enough, Portugal's golden generation started after they won the Euros in 2016, but that golden generation has not lived up to expectations at all. They got knocked out in the round of 16 of the 2018 World Cup and Euro 2020, and then got dumped in the quarterfinals of the 2022 World Cup. They're not even going far enough for fans to have some hope, so it's been very frustrating for the Portuguese. Also, there's a large section of the Portugal fans that think that Cristiano Ronaldo deserves to win another major trophy before he hangs up his boots, so there's huge pressure on the team to win Euro 2024 or the 2026 World Cup because we don't expect Ronaldo to still be with the national team beyond 2026. But not only European teams are under pressure, you know, the Brazil national team is also. Brazil is easily the most successful nation in world football, and for any player coming in to represent a team with such a history, those are already very big boots to fill. The Samba boys have won the World Cup a record five times, but it seems like their glory days are now well behind them. Since Brazil won the World Cup in 2002, they've been very disappointing on the biggest stages. They got knocked out in the quarterfinals from 2006, 2010, 2018 and 2022, and when they reached the semis on home sod in 2014, they were embarrassed 7-1 by Germany. Because of this, the pressure keeps mounting on the Seleção. And for Brazil, it's not just about silverware, it's also about how they play. Fans have been complaining that the current crop of Brazil players no longer have the flair and individuality that Brazilian players of the past were known for. So the players are under pressure not only to win, but also to play beautiful football on the way. And it surely doesn't help that the country's legends aren't exactly given their full support. Ronaldinho said he won't watch Brazil at the 2024 Copa America, while Ronaldo said he'd rather watch tennis these days because he finds football boring. Crazy, eh? Finally, we have Nigeria. They call themselves the Giants of Africa, but the performances of the Super Eagles on the pitch have not always reflected that. They haven't won a major trophy in over a decade now and the fans are losing patience. They did recently get close, reaching the final of the 2023 AFCON, which went down in 2024, but they lost to the host Côte d'Ivoire. And then, what's followed is a rather disappointing World Cup qualifying campaign, which could see them miss out on the World Cup for the third time in six years. And add to that the fact that they've also failed to qualify for the AFCON three times in the last seven years, and it doesn't look pretty at all. 
On top of all that, they recently saw their biggest player, Victor Osimhen, fall out with and publicly call out the now ex-coach Finidi George, which shows that the dressing room might not be in top order. Also, one thing is for sure, their silver medal at the 2023 AFCON didn't do much to relieve the pressure on them because the Super Eagles have a habit of going far in the AFCON but never actually winning it. They have finished as either second or third on 13 occasions at the AFCON but they've won the trophy only three times. Fans are tired of almost winning and that's why there's now a lot of pressure on the Super Eagles to actually start winning. Are there more national teams you can think of that are under a lot of pressure to succeed? Drop some names in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notifications so you never miss out on new content and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.